one Camaro. Not sure exactly what kind of condition it's in, if it's like restored or if it's a, a project car or what. So we are going to be heading over towards West Columbia to pick it up and then taking it up to Stafford, which is kind of like the Houston area, and uh, drop it off in a shop up there, I believe. So we are headed that way. Thanks for watching, guys. pushed out a little bit we're gonna use the winch cable now to uh, pull it the rest of the way on the street over this hump Rig up something like this. I'm gonna get my snatch block so that way we accomplish two things. We're gonna keep the cable centered, running straight at the winch so my cable spools neatly. Doesn't mound up all on one side. But it's also going to keep the angle of the pull a little bit lower. So we're gonna come down here to the end of the end of the bed. If I can, might have to. Lift up or go up to this next slot here. Yeah, last chain. See how it keeps the cable in the middle. Oh, I got it here. I got it. Just got to get this hooked up here real quick.
Um, yeah, we'll, we'll still need to turn it a little bit. If we could get it turned all the way to the... To the right? To the, uh, yes sir, to the right side there. To the passenger side. Set this right here. If we need to... Yeah, all the way if we can. Need to... I don't want to set that. There we go. Got it? That'll work. That enough? That should be enough to get us up on the road. You probably need to just kind of hold on to it just how it how it is there. There we go. See that's keeping the cable in the middle of the bed there. Got my soft bridle on there from DG Towing Supply. Which is real good for loading these classic cars like this. All right, uh, go ahead and either hold the brakes or uh, put it in park. I'm gonna let off on my winch real quick. It shouldn't go anywhere, but to get my uh, hooks off of it real quick and then we can straighten it back up back in now so we don't need so much cable out yeah you can go ahead and turn the wheels back now I'm gonna pull up on the other side probably have to go make the block don't need the snap block anymore winch cable later. Alright, I'm going to go turn around real quick. No, sir. I'm. Uh, I got some uh, wood blocks. If I need to, I'll put underneath my uh, bridle there to keep my bridle low enough to not get into your splitter there. Let's see any 
thing that's gonna snag us up. Come in real slowly and see how the uh, bridle looks on his splitter. It looks like it's gonna get on the plastic, then we'll block it up. All right. I've got my cable tightened up now. Uh, go ahead and put her back in neutral. Okay. All right, should be neutral there. Okay. Two clicks, and then if you can, let's bring it to the driver's side just a little bit here. I know it's gonna be tough. Might have to cut a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Just come over just a little bit there. All right, right there should be good. All right, it's not going anywhere now. I got the tire up against the bed. She can go ahead and hop out. Uh, and, 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 and put it back in place? No, leave it, leave it. I, it's, I've got it now. Yeah, leave it in neutral. Because now we can, we can steer it and it's up against my bed and the winch. So, she's not going anywhere now. Oh! Oh, watch yourself. Is that something you need with something you need? Yeah, make sure, make sure you got everything out of it. You need that paper. What is that? I guess that's junk you had. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. All right. Go ahead. I can put one down. I would leave it down just for the, so that way we can still steer it without having to get in and out of it. Splitter's good. Yeah. Straighten the wheel back up a little bit here. And I'm gonna come watch the exhaust once he gets what he needs. I ain't really got no I'm hanging down too low. Got it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and winch in with it. Turn the wheel to the right side. I've got it. I, I want it to kind of favor that side a little bit so that way it doesn't, it's not too far on the driver's side of my bed. Right, no, that's I, I want, but I want it to go to that side first yeah, before I. That's the way I'm to turn. Yeah, well, that's why I don't want to turn it too early, otherwise it's going to end up over here. I want it to be that on on that side a little bit. All right, All right. then we're back in park. Pretty square. Hey, you gotta lift up. You can put it back in park. Yes, sir. Oh, you gotta lift up on. You might know that. Yeah. All oh, right. And then this cranks up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold, hold, hold a minute. What's that? Let, let it back down. Let it back. Down. A little bit down. Yeah. Hold on. Let me put. Come on down with you. Oh, it didn't get in the track. No, it's not in the track. All right, now. Track. 
There she is. All right. And then. All right. She's in park. Ready to go ahead and roll it up? Are y'all going to the shop with it or no? Just yeah. sending it up there? Okay. Yeah. Is there a. Yeah, it's gonna be somebody, yeah. It's somebody to be that's why I was fixing to ask. Is there like a particular purse I need to ask for or? Uh, yeah, uh, Marcus. Marcus, okay. Oh, God. While I got you standing here, before I forget, I'm gonna get you to sign for me. All right. And then I'll get her all strapped down. Oh, no. uh, yeah, I'm, what's I'm your... with you. I, I know. <laughs> you? Gotta love technology, huh? Yeah. Uh... Perfect. All right, let me I, get that. I see, I, I did a little pause for old Riley. I, we got one just like that. Do you? It's similar to that, but that's the same way you sign it. Yep. All right, let me get my straps real quick. My uh, dispatch stuff said. So. What's that? Yeah, that's that's about all you can do with them now. I always tell people, ain't gotta be pretty, it's just gotta be there, you know? Right? my eight point straps. And these straps are from DG Towing Supply. Cool thing about these straps, they don't touch the wheels. I don't have to worry about scratching up or getting the uh, hubcaps. Bite the tag in there. Take these out of the other side. Do the same thing there.
tangled up here. Have you had this car long? Beautiful. Thank you. What motor you got in it? Oh, it's a 327. 327? Yeah, a little bit. I've uh, done a little bit of, oh, okay. a little bit of racing and. I've never had nothing quite like this, but I've, currently I've got a uh, a turbo 5.0 five Mustang. Oh, okay. Run low tens in the quarter mile. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what I was thinking, though, that's why I said that 327, but you're a young bug. You might not know about that. No, I've been around, around plenty of them. Yeah. I use, I use go, go to car shows, go to yeah. ride for I bet this one turned some heads. Yeah. Just getting it back running again or what? Oh yeah. I can't wait to see it buzzing around town. You, you, live, you live in this area? I, uh, I used to. My parents live right up the road here in Dansinger. I live in Richwood now. Oh, okay. But I'm always passing through the area. Yep. Got her secured down. The right. keys are in it, or you get the yeah, yeah. Okay. The keys are in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I got you to sign. I got her strapped down and loaded up. I'll All right, Dustin. Get it hauled over there right. for you. All right. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Trip. Yes, sir. You want me to give you a call and let you know when I drop it off? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll I'll let All you right. know. All right. You have a good evening. All right. Good. All right. So we got the Camaro loaded up. We're hauling it to a shop over in Stafford with a customer. The uh, call originally came in as a 71. Uh, to me, it looks more like a 68, uh, or at least a late 60s. But that's uh, either way, it's a beautiful car, and uh, we had to kind of do some funny stuff to get it out of the driveway. I really don't like loading those things backwards, especially hauling them backwards, especially at a considerable distance like we're going. Uh, those front splitters hang down real low when you load them backwards like that. You gotta block them up. And be real careful because that front approach angle is real low compared to the rear. So we winched it out onto the road to get it to where it was a little bit safer because I can control the angle of that front a whole lot easier and I control it when it's down there on the on the ground when I'm trying to roll it up the bed backwards so we are headed to the shop to get this thing unloaded we'll be over there in a minute all right we're here we get my remote points off. This is kind of the reason why I don't like using eight points in 
normal day-to-day -day use wouldn't be so bad if they were up here on the deck you know all the time and then the sun bakes them and they get brittle and faded and to me they're just not as practical to use in day-to-day -day towing especially when you run wrecks and do a little bit of everything that we do don't really want to drag something over the top of these things i've seen videos of people that keep them up on the deck and they go work wrecks and stuff and and they're having to undo them and move them out the way If it's in my way, it doesn't need to be on the deck, so. Personally, I like using the normal four point tie downs with the D-ring straps on each wheel when I can. Obviously, something like this, I don't want to put a strap through the wheel. These, this is a, a hubcap, a decorative hubcap on the outside edge of the wheel there. You'll crush those real easy with a D-ring strap could have put lasso like lasso the d-ring straps around which would have also worked but the eight points are more secure obviously when you're towing something like this you want the best you can have i need to have my guardian angel on even though there's decent lighting here. And there's uh, eight point straps, that soft bridle, really all my straps. I get all that stuff from DG Trucking Supply. Fort Worth. If you go to my uh, description in all the videos, you'll find the link to their website. Also, my discount code. You can get 5% off your order on basically any kind of towing supply that you'll need. Straps, chains, dollies. have some custom chains that they've made me. That I couldn't find anywhere else, and they custom did them for me. They even have the winch cradles like the like the miller carriers this is an absolutely beautiful car said he had a 327 in it Got some clean cars in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh, got a couple of them working on. That little bug's pretty cool. Oh, yeah.
if you want to steer it or anything to kind of steer it where you want it you can feel free to speak you right there all right watching that front lip there He said the keys were in it. Keys are in there? Yep. Get this thing unloaded. Go ahead and take my pictures. Document everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did gas. What's up, man? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see form. that. When I looked when I, when I, when I, uh, look at it, Porter. Good. Appreciate it. you guys enjoyed the video we uh see what comes next thanks for watching guys <laughs>